So I'm starting out with primer. I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is just a little sample size that I got from Sephora. And then for foundation, I'm using L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I think this is in the shade W2, but I'll have the name listed below. It was a little bit dark for me, but we painted our neck red, so it really didn't matter in the end. So I just buffed that in with a Morphe brush. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using some black eyeshadow. So I started out with a really light hand on an angled brush and made them quite thin and sort of pointed and defined. Um, and I just wanted to do black to like kind of tie in the whole dark features of this devil makeup look. So you can do whatever color you like. You can do red, you can do your normal eyebrow colors, but I chose to go black. Then I'm just going to prime my lids using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as usual. And I'm going to apply two pieces of sticky tape to the outer corners of both of my eyes. Then going back into this palette, it's the BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette. I am taking the red shade and just starting to buff this into the crease using my Sigma E40 brush. And I put this sticky tape down a bit further than I normally do so that I could create this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a wing underneath the eye and on top of the eye. So I just buffed a whole heap of this color right into the inner corner and the outer corner and then took a clean blending brush and buffed all the edges. I was quite messy with this, you don't have to be overly neat at all. And then I took some more of the red and just brought it right into the inner corners as you can see right up to where my nose is. Then I went in with the black shade and just started to pack this onto the lid. Um, you can use something like a gel eyeliner or a shadow stick to get it to stick better which was what I should have done but I didn't think of that. So I just applied it in a winged out shape and then just went back in with the Sigma brush to blend it out and then I just packed on some more colour. So I did this twice, packed on the black, blended it out and then packed it on again and did the same thing. Here I'm just adding some more of the red shade into the crease just because I didn't want any of it to fade away with all the blending. And then I went back in with the black again and just dra dra dragged, I think that's the right word, that underneath my lower lash line. Then I just used the Rimmel Coal Pencil in black to tight line and line the top of my lash line. I just did this really messily and I like the effect it gives. Um, I feel like this is a real grungy kind of look and you can make everything messy if you like. Then I just applied some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and applied the EXO Beauty Wild One Lashes. Moving back onto the face, I'm concealing my under eyes and the center of my face using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I've got the shade Fair, so I'm just applying this underneath the eyes and then down the center of my face to highlight. And I'm just going to press all of that into the skin using my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for concealer. I absolutely love it. And then to set those areas, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus, just on a Real Techniques Contour Brush. Then I'm going in with a little bit of Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, in hindsight, I didn't really need to do this, but I didn't know I was going to do the red and like carved out cheekbones at this point, so you don't actually have to do this step if you don't want to. So then I took the red out of the Take Me To Brazil palette, which is also from BH, and I just started to carve out underneath my cheekbones. So I'm using an angled brush, and as you can see, I'm contouring normally, but then dragging it all the way down. And then I just took my foundation brush just to clean up along the jawline a bit so it wasn't all completely red. And then I just took the same red shade just around my hairline and just sort of buffed it in. Then I'm going in with this dark brown shade and I started to buff this along the contour. So this is just going to add depth and kind of like a 3D dimension rather than looking like just a red stripe on my face. So you just want to take your time buffing and adding the shading around the contour and it's actually super easy to do, you just need to take your time. And I did add the most definition in those 
um, hollow little parts at the side of my mouth because that really made it look like my face was quite sunken in. And then I'm just going back in with the red shade here and just adding more shading. Um, yeah, just adding more shading, blending it out. And I did add the red around my hairline again and then going in with the angled brush and just making sure it was all blended out. And here I'm just emphasizing those parts again, but this time I'm using black. I just forgot to show the shadow, but I'm just taking the black shade and just lightly buffing it into those areas just to emphasize the hollowed out effect that I was going for. And then I'm just going in with Mary Luminizer from the Balm and highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and just my cupid's bow and down my nose. And then once again, I'm just taking that same angled brush and blending and blending and blending. And I decided to go in with the black and really emphasize underneath my lower lash line. I brought it down quite low to kind of look like dark circles or at least emphasize my, you know, current dark circles. Um, and this just makes it look even more grungy and messy and that kind of thing. And then I emphasized it on the inner corners right where my nose is. Then going back in with the red, I'm just doing the same kind of thing, just buffing it underneath the lower lash line so that the red still stood out. And then I decided to take it down the sides of my nose, kind of like contouring your nose, except with red eyeshadow. Um, and yeah, I'm just using my Sigma E40 once again to do that. Then I just applied some lower lash mascara and some black liner into the waterline and applied some red contacts to make sure I looked super freaky. And then I'm just applying some fishnet gloves that I just got from a craft store and going in with red face paint on a paintbrush. So I think this really pulls the whole look together, the red face paint. Um, I just feel like if you do this, you really do look like a devil. So I tied my hair back because it wasn't working with my hair out and then I just continued to paint all the way down to where my shirt was. So you want to make sure you're painting right down to where your shirt is, otherwise you will have patches that people can see. So I'm just applying this all over my chest. Then I went to go in with some black face paint, but I realized I forgot my lipstick, like I don't know how. So I just applied that lipstick, the name will be linked down below. And then I went back in with the black face paint and I just kind of mapped out my collarbones just to kind of add some dimension on the um, chest rather than just having it be all red. So just mapped out underneath my collarbones and on top of them. And then I added two kind of stripes um, along the sides of the neck and down onto the trapezius muscle, I think it's called. And that basically completed the look. I popped on some little devil horns that I bought from online. I will have the website linked down below. And that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.